Many people disagree with Deborah's harsh tactics. And joining us now is writer, speaker, and trained researcher, Reagan Chastain. Reagan, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Reagan, what are your thoughts on, on Deborah's stance? Yeah, so I mean, what I heard was that she heard firsthand that body shaming and feeling bad about yourself is something that's harmful to women. And she thought, well, why don't I spend 13 grand to put up a billboard in Times Square to see if I can make more women feel that way? <laughs> so this idea of leveraging fat phobia and body shaming for money and attention, which is what she said in her own words that she did, it's not original, it's not new, and it follows a pretty predictable pattern. So someone does something wildly fat phobic publicly, and then they try to claim that they're brave and helpful for telling these things that thousands of internet trolls say every day. And then when they do face consequences for the harm they're creating, they self-victimize and talk about how they're being canceled and how it's not fair and how if people are harmed by their actions, well, that's the people's fault and certainly not their fault for what they're doing. And so Deborah's, you know, on schedule for that. We have to understand, going back to her point about skinny shaming versus fat shaming. So body shaming is wrong at any size. But when we talk about the oppression that people in larger bodies face, it's not just body shaming. It's issues of access. It's issues of healthcare access. And so those are things that no matter how much we love our bodies, we can't self-love our way into you know, a chair that works for us. We can't self-love our way into healthcare that is equal. And so when we continue to foment this idea of body shame, when we continue to tell people that the solution to not liking your body is to change yourself, to suit your oppressor, then we do additional harm and we do more harm to higher weight people and people with multiple marginalizations. And that's what's happening. Reagan makes a lot of good points, Deborah, of course. What are your thoughts on what she's saying? Let's talk about fat phobic. Fat phobic is someone who discriminates against a fat person. So a fat phobic person wouldn't hire a person for a job because they are fat. That is the absolute nonsense opposite version of what I am doing. I am embracing a woman who comes to me at any size, whether she's 350 pounds or whether she's 110 pounds and feels fat and unhealthy. We cannot deny the health crisis that obesity causes. I'm also a trained physical therapist. I worked 22 years in the hospital. My husband is a physician. We have a combined experience of 100,000 patients that came across our care. The obese patients by far come in younger, more frequently, and have horrific post-op courses because of complications such as type 2 diabetes, that's a result of added fat around the pancreas and an inability to control blood sugar, sleep apnea, where they literally stop breathing due to fat around the upper respiratory area, knee replacements at age 50 versus, versus age 70. And so I can go on and on, and me spending $13,000 was well, well worth it for the women who I am helping today, who have texted me today thanking me for putting up that billboard, thanking me for not allowing them to have to go into the hospital. Deborah, do you believe fat people are lazy? I believe anyone can be lazy, whether they're fat or skinny. The definition of laziness is an unwillingness to move or expend energy. So if you're fat and you're able to exercise and break a sweat and do something that is proven to be good for your body and you choose not to, you could be called lazy. If you're skinny and you choose not to exercise and move around when you are able-bodied, you are lazy. So lazy can be fat and it doesn't have to be a, a characterization. Again, we take these words that are just words. Fat means excess adipose tissue. That is what the medical tech, you know, definition is. Lazy means an unwillingness to move. We don't have to attack uh, attack a person, and that is not what I do.